everyone in CPW Galaxy, this is on Dale Richardson, and I'm here to do this Q&A session, and I am happy to do so. But first of all, before I do that, I'd like to thank everyone in the NHS for all their hard work during this health pandemic. Uh, so yes, I th I'd like to thank them all because they're all doing a great job. So yes, thank you everybody who works within our National Health Service. Yes, I salute you all. First question is from Justin Pierre Robert, and he asks, What do I look for in recruiting someone for the CPW roster? Well, what I look for is someone who wants to go out there, wants to entertain the fans, wants to put all they can into everything they do in the ring. Uh, I don't particularly have time for people who want to do it just for the money, because if you want to do it for the money, I don't, I don't know what you're doing this for, because... Uh, money should not really be a reason for doing it. So that's what I look for, someone who is committed and wants to do, the, do everything they can when in the ring on a show. Second question is from Aaron Davis. He asks, who is my favourite wrestler of all time and why? Well, when I was younger, I was also a Warrior fan. He had energy and he, I enjoyed every time he got in the ring and that's what got me in to the WWF as it was at the time. Uh, now in the WWE, without a shadow of a doubt, has to be Randy Orton. I enjoy every time I see him in the ring and everything that he does. Uh, when it comes to CPW, there's just so many great guys and girls that I've had to choose for, uh, rest, I've had to work with. So to choose one, it's very difficult. Uh, if I really had to choose one, I couldn't really do it, to be honest, there's so many. Uh, you know, Will Starr, Dan Evans, uh, Lizzie Evo or Lizzie Styles, as we, uh, as we once known her, um, Natalie Wild, again, so many talents that, so many of them that I can't go for the wall. I mean, Morris, Bashby, again, so many talents that I can't really go through the wall. So, uh, I can't really choose one as my favourite. They've all been a joy to work with. And they all continue to be a joy to work the with. The next question is from Luke Reynolds. And he puts, Jeff Jarrett, seriously, how was that experience? Well, I'll tell you, working with Jeff Jarrett, for me, was an honour and a privilege. Uh, it was a great opportunity. I couldn't believe that it actually happened to me. So, yeah, that was a, a great opportunity. And I was happy to retire at that moment. For, uh, just the opportunity to be in the ring with WWE Hall of Famer, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. I thank everyone that gave me that opportunity. So thank you, Luke, for that question. The next question is from Mr. Ace, and he asks, How do I get back in the good books at CPW? Well, all you do, Mr. Ace, is you turn up when you're able to, you turn up to training, you turn up to shows, and you do everything you can when it comes to performing to CPW uh, Lost, uh, Galaxy. And then you do whatever you are asked and you act professionally at all times. That's what you should do because that's what a CPW talent, a CPW wrestler should do. The next question is from Karen Stokes. And she asks, who is the better big man? Between Cleo, the Iron Serb, and Drake Winter. Well, they've all got different qualities uh, when it comes to wrestling, when it comes to experience, when it comes to knowledge. Uh, they're all great to work with. So for me to choose one, uh, I'm not quite sure if I can say which one is better. Because I've not really been a wrestler myself, so I can't really say which one is better. Uh, I mean, Cleo being the CPW champion, possibly the only reason you maybe say that he's better. The other two have not been. So, you imagine you would say that Cleo would have to be better, if that's what you want to call it, but I wouldn't say that. I'm not quite sure if I answered that question for you, Karen. But the next question I'm sorry about that. is from Wes Hanley, and he asks, if I, had a, I could be, I could imagine stable in CPW with five people in it, who would they be? Out of two men, two women, past and present, and one from the Superstars Project. Wow. That's a lot to ask, because uh, there's so many great talents that I've had a chance to work with. But, 
But out of the two men, I would choose without a shadow of a doubt, first of all, the CPW Lily Heavyweight Champion, World Star. He is a quality uh, wrestler, great to work with, so definitely will I want in my stable. Also alongside him, I definitely put Morris. He is a young talent, has the utmost ability, and again, is a joy to work with. Uh, the two women, there's been so many great women, past and present, coming to CPW, but I would choose Lana Austin. Lana Austin is a joy to work with every time I've had an opportunity to, so Lana Austin would definitely be in my stable. Also, alongside her, would have to be Natalie Wild. Natalie Wild, again, is a joy to work with every time I've had the opportunity to, too. so yeah, Natalie and Lana, they're the two women that I would pick in my stable. From the Superstar series, there's so many great talents that we've had from the Superstar project, but I would choose, if I had to choose one, I would choose young Crystal. She's got so much potential and ability, so Crystal would definitely be the one from the project I would want in the my The next stable. question is from Bob, Bob Dixon, and he asks, should I had a call from the WWE asking to be a part of them in some capacity... Would I join the WWE, or would I, for the dollars, as he puts it, or would I stick with CPW? Well, the WWE gave me a call. Of course, it would be an honour and a privilege to work for that promotion. Uh, and, and yeah, it would be a fantastic opportunity, and I'm, I, you know, obviously I wouldn't turn that down. But I wouldn't go there for the dollars, and I wouldn't go there for the money. I'd go there just for the opportunity of working with the talent that's in the WWE. Uh, but CPW will always and forever will be The next my question home. is from Ray, and he asks, what is the best match I've ever refed in CPW? Wow, there's been so many great matches. For me to choose one is very difficult, but the one that definitely stands out there, if you really need me to choose one, would definitely be... The NWA Heavyweight Championship match between Nick Aldis and Dan Evans. That was a match I never thought I'd ever be involved in. I never thought that I would have a chance to hold that championship that had so much history to it. So that would definitely be it. Dan Evans versus Nick Aldis for the NWA Championship. That would be my decision for the best match of ever. And the final referee. question... Is from David Brown. And he asks, during Giant D's short time in CPW, was I a fan of his? Well, as it says, he was only with us for a short period of time, so I didn't really have time to really become a fan of his because he moved for a short period. Uh, he had a lot of potential, but uh, obviously he wasn't with us long enough for me to say that uh, I was a fan or not. Uh, he also, he also a part of that question, he says, if he came back, would uh, I think be able to think of a gimmick for him, a better gimmick or for him? Well, well, I can say, I'm not really a gimmick man. I don't really know much that much about gimmicks. A creative team in CPW and all the people you have to ask for that side of things. But all I would say, Giant D, if you want to get back into CPW and perform in front of the CPW Galaxy. All I would say is, get yourself back to training, because that is where you will prove yourself to be as good as you want to be. So get yourself back to training, and you never know an opportunity may come your way.